everyone welcome back to my channel have you ever wondered how it feels or maybe you have experienced missing an opportunity just because you have one missing criteria <laughs> that's the case we see in many international migration or studying abroad opportunity which opens and some people don't have english language tests that is valid already I experienced that during the COVID-19 in Canada, where immigration refugees and uh, Citizenship Canada announced for a, a category of um, applicants who were in Canada that could transition from um, TP, temporary resident, to permanent resident. And one of the requirements was English language test. Now, such opportunities will open for very limited uh, time. Um, for instance, this particular one, they were to apply and the first 40,000 to apply, the portal will close, which happened in less than 24 hours. So people who didn't have English test missed that opportunity. And that is one of the reasons why I'm talking to us today. English language testing is one of the criteria that you majorly see in institution international migration and you need to get them ready if you're interested in this uh, international space now the first one i want to talk about is ielts ielts has been on since 1980 and ielts stand for international english language testing system and it's used to test the english language proficiency for non-native english language speakers it's jointly managed by British Council, IELTS Australia, and Cambridge uh, Assessment English. It's accepted in Australia, British, Canadian, um, Irish, New Zealand, even the US in academic institution. For instance, I know that over 3,000 academic institutions in the US accept that. It's also accepted in many professional organizations that want to hire you you know internationally you have four parts the listening the reading uh, writing and speaking and it's very easy usually the band is between zero and nine with uh increment of 0 0.5 band it's valid for two years two years let me say two years so i don't confuse you with 24 months two years only and it's written mostly four times a month depending on where you are and it's written in several locations and is accepted in up to 140 countries of the world more than 10,000 colleges agencies and and uh, institutions all over these countries accept that the other one is tofu tofu has been on longer since 1962 and is tofu stand for test of english as a foreign language and it's also a standardized testing to measure the ability of non-english native speakers to enroll in the universities accepted in over 11,000 universities and institutions of, in more than 190 countries of the world is something i would encourage it also valid for two years and you can try to hold it anytime to make sure that it doesn't expire on you. The next one is Selfie. Selfie is been on since 2002 and Selfie stands for Canadian English Language Proficiency Index Program. Mostly used by immigration, refugees, and citizenship Canada, and is administered by Paragon. Paragon is an enterprise that is a subsidiary of the University of British Columbia, and they use it to assess your English proficiency for you to be able to you know, migrate to Canada. Tapi scores ranges from 0 to 12, and the IEL score ranges from 0 to 9, while TOEFL ranges from 35 to 120. Most of them are expecting you to just show that you're a competent user. Yes, competent user is usually around the band of 6.5 for IL or 7. In all my experience, I never scored anything below 8, so I expect that 
those of us who are taught in English will be able to do that. And I assure you that they are easy, simple English. The other English language test that I want to talk about is Duolingo English test. Yes, Duolingo English test is also just like IELTS, TOEFL, and so on. So it's also something you can uh, explore. Duolingo was, you know, became popular within the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, now accepted in over 4,000 universities across the world, including Harvard, Stanford, uh, MIT, Yale. So name it, if they can accept it, which means everybody should be able to accept it. So it's also accepted in UK and so on. The other English test that I'll quickly mention is ISAT. ISAT is International Student Admission uh, testing. So it's mandatory test for uh, entry into medicine, dentistry, um, healthcare related courses in some Australia uh, institution for international students. And you also have the Cambridge Assessment English and Trinity College London test. Now my, my encouragement to you is make sure you have the English test that is valid so that when opportunity opens for you, you will not struggle. Let it not be said that it's only because you don't have English that that's why you miss a juicy opportunity in the global space. Thank you very much. I want to encourage you to keep watching, keep sharing, keep subscribing, and I can assure you that many more exciting opportunities will come your way.